Jenna Slug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome back. You're back for more, I see. I'm back. Couldn't get enough. Obviously, our last video did really well, but it's it's interesting. I've never really got hate comments before. Wait, did you get a hate comment? Uh, not really like a hate comment. This guy's like, first you need an Australian accent. That was weak. Like that you don't have an Australian accent? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, this isn't the point of the video. Okay. What I actually wanted to show you today. Yeah. I want to go through with you some of the most iconic Australian interviews on uh, TV. Oh, okay. So we got this one. Brisbane crash witness called... Offender down the road. Chased a fit called? Oh my god. <laughs> the witness called? Oh well it's really quite funny. I was I was in bed sleeping at uh two o'clock this morning and my wife comes in and says, Oh, the shop's been uh someone ran into the shop and I said, Oh what? So I jumped out of bed and <laughs> all I had I'm, just, I'm like, okay, whenever because right now you can't see my face. You'll see my yeah. face whenever you like get the footage. All you'll be able to see is just my intense concentration face trying to... <gasps> trying to understand. Literally trying to understand. All right, let's see how we go. That was me undies on and I've walked out the front and I've seen uh, the car smashed and I've seen the bloke walking back to the car. And so I've walked outside and I said, oh, what are you doing, mate? Like, you can't be leaving the scene. And he goes, don't be a hero, mate. And I said, I'm not trying to be a hero, but the police are coming. And he just decided he'd scoot up the road. And I just said, nah, it's not going on like that, mate. So I jumped in my car and I started chasing him up the road. And then he went down a side street and then the police were coming and I flashed him and sent them off in the direction of him. But mate, all I had was me jocks on. And I, all, I was chasing him up the street and I'm just like, mate, like, because you, cause you told me that this is your mate's shop yeah. and you didn't want him to get away. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it, it, well, <laughs> me mate's mum's had the... <laughs> <laughs> that guy's face. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> oh. This shop for like 40 odd years and uh, look at it. Look at it. it whoa. It's a mess, isn't it? Uh, beyond a mess. Oh, like, words, whoa. words can't explain how it is, mate. Now, Daniel, you managed to put some pants on in the meantime. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, mate. It's like... good to hear. <laughs> do you feel like a hero? Oh, uh, not really. It's, it's just something you've got to do for the community, mate. It's like you look after your mates and your mates will always look after you. There you go. Good attitude. There you go, guys. Daniel, quite the Australian hero here this morning. <laughs> Wait, let's see what they, how they responded. To the owners of the fish and chip shop. Well, they are insured, but there is a big mess to clean up this morning. Oh, wouldn't you like to live next door to yeah, Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Day. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Jess, what Daniel needs to realise, Daniel, if you can hear me, you know all good superheroes wear their jocks on the outside, so True. it kind of fits the brief, yeah. pardon the pun. Yeah, oh, but no. I had nothing on about <laughs> me jocks. <laughs> Not her saying it kind of fits the brief. Oh, no. <laughs> kind of fits the brief. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Lisa. Well, you missed that bit of the uniform, but that's okay. You're a hero in our eyes. Wow. Well done, Daniel. Yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Wow. Okay, I've got a classic for you. Are you prepared? No. After last time, absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Psycho Dog wait. Man. Is this an interview? Yeah. <gasps> oh, wait. I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen this. So yesterday morning, I came out into the front yard and the dogs were across the boat. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs> oh, his poor wife. <laughs> Look at his wife. She's just like, oh no. They came bounding over. <laughs> <laughs> that commitment though. That commitment. She's the whole time though. She's not looking at the camera. No, she's just like he's gonna do it, isn't he? The dogs were across the boat. She's like, God damn it, you know, yeah, you know that he's done it. Like, he's been doing it all day. Oh yeah, he's been warming up. He, he's been calling up his friends and being like, I swear they came at me and they were like, Oh, you know what? Actually, actually, you know what happened? I guarantee you, he explained it like that to them off camera, and they were like, Would you be able to do that again for the camera? 
And she's trying not to laugh. And I just made it into the front door. In it's a classic. It's, it's a, a classic. Class that's a classic. Oh, obviously, you know about Corey. No. They based a whole movie off this. Off of this? Yeah, Project X. Oh, this is the person that this is based off of? Yeah. Well, it's the real life risky business. A teenager holds an alcohol fueled party for hundreds of kids while his unsuspecting parents are on holiday. 16 year old Corey Worthington is now facing not only the wrath of mum and dad, but a $20,000 fine from police. And you'll notice at the end of Project X, there's even an interview with them that's replicating this exact news scene. What? what okay. Ago. Corey, thanks for joining us. The only question that I oh can think gosh. to ask is what were you thinking? Um, I wasn't really. Did your parents say you could have a party? <laughs> um, no. So they didn't. why did you? <laughs> um, I don't know, it was just a get together with a couple mates at first and then we thought we might as well just have a bit of a party and then it sort of just got out of hand and yeah. I'm sorry, really quick, that nipple ring is terrifying. <laughs> the air wing of the police force, the dog squad, your neighbor's cars were being destroyed. What have your uh, parents had to say, Corey? <laughs> um, I haven't really talked to them because every time they- Oh, they... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> cool, I don't answer. Cause yeah, they probably tried to kill me. So that's a short term strategy. Uh, you're gonna have to talk <laughs> to them eventually. What are you gonna say? Um, sorry. Are you sorry? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. You don't sound very sorry. <laughs> but I can't really exactly all. blame for everything that happened because it wasn't in the house, it was out in the street and I didn't do it. Like, the police said, you stay inside so you don't get in trouble, so I did what he said, so. Why don't you take this opportunity now to apologise to your parents and to your neighbours who have said today that they were frightened? Oh my God, I... <sighs> I hate this kind of thing where it's like the news is trying to be like the parent. Literally. Like, why don't you apologize? Why don't you apologize right now? Huh? Come on. Give us that TV gold. Give us that gold. Give us what we want. Do you reckon he gives them what they want? I hope not. <laughs> well, I've already, I've already offered like to say sorry to them and stuff when I see them. So I will say sorry now for everything that happened. Why don't you take your glasses off so we can see you? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, who is she? Oh, oh that is... I mean, yeah, he's a douche, but like... I mean, yeah, he's a douche, but at the same time, like, this is scummy on their end. It's it's so like... You're not my mom. Literally. <laughs> and then apologize mm. to your neighbors for frightening nah. them. Nah. I'll... <laughs> nah. 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 Take your glasses off. Nah. 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 TV's on. Nah, I like them. They've, they might be fined $20,000. Are you going to try and pay that for them? Yeah, but I don't think it's fair they'll be fined it because what happened, it was my party, but it could have just been any random person walking in the street doing it. What well, happens all the time. Your parents were out of town. You put out the invitation. You started it. Why don't you make a grown-up decision now and accept responsibility? Oh. Oh. It's so parental. Oh, God. Why don't you make oh. a grown-up decision now? Absolutely not. Oh. Absolutely not. Take off those glasses and apologize to everybody that you frightened, to the police who were forced to retreat and whose cars have been damaged, and to the community who've had to pay for this. Take your take off your I'll, glasses and apologize to us. I'll say sorry, but I'm not taking off my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say sorry, I'm not taking off my glasses. Yeah, like what has that got to do with shit? Come on. Why not? Because they're famous. <laughs> Because they're famous. They're famous. Because your glasses are famous. Yeah. Why are your glasses <laughs> famous? I know, everyone likes them, so I don't know, I'm not taking them off. You're pretty happy with the way you look and the attitude you've got, are you? Yeah, my parents aren't, but I am. Okay, Corey, we've got to wrap <laughs> this up, but what would you say to other kids oh, no. who are thinking of partying when their parents are out of town? Get me to do it for you. Stop. Get me to do it for you. <laughs> get you to do it for you. Not don't do yeah. it. Nah. Yeah. Get me to do it for you. Best party ever so far. That's what everyone's been saying, so. 
Well, we've got to go, but I suggest you go away and uh, take a good, long, hard look at yourself. I have. Everyone has. They love it. <laughs> Oh, no. Thanks so much for joining me. Of course. Um, everyone watching, drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like Jitter to react to. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.